a man and a woman, they're dating. They're having sex. They're getting it in. She finds him attractive sexually. He finds her attractive sexually. They like each other. It ain't going to take long. They about to get it in, get it going. Often. And then eventually, as years go by, somewhere down the line, where if it's months or years, somebody doesn't find somebody sexually attractive anymore. They don't get sexually aroused anymore. There's no more sexual excitement. Ooh, that's deep. What's up, YouTube? This is your boy, James. Oh, fellas, let me tell you something. A woman like you, she finds you sexually attractive. She's like, ooh, James is fine. Ooh, girl, I'm starting to get wet. What? You really like him? Yes, girl, he can get it. Woo! Fellas, you see a woman. She very attractive. You're like, dang, look at Shelly right there. Look at that. Look at her right there. She fine. She thick. You see that? You see all that booty back there, boy? Yeah, man, I see that. Woo! She got she got nice big breasts. Ooh, -wee. ooh, she thick. Or she whatever type that you like. And here you go. Doing! Oh dang, it's easy, big fella. Go down, go down. You like what you see. So you're going to get sexually aroused some kind of way. But let's say the sexual arousing doesn't exist anymore. And then the sex declines. Everything slows down. And eventually, the relationship's going to go from up here. It's going to go, yeah, boom, crash, dead. Sex and intimacy is 70% of the relationship. If that 70% isn't there... That other 30% won't matter. It's like going to school. You in class. Teacher gives you a syllabus. 70% of your grade is sex and intimacy. 30% of your grade is everything before the bedroom. Being romantic, being nice, being generous, being kind-hearted, give the extra hand, helpful, cheerful stuff before the bedroom if sex and intimacy if you got those two things down pat it will hold the rest of it will come together it's just gonna be a natural flow just whoop. that 70 percent is a c grade in school a c plus you'll graduate every time you're getting c's and c pluses throughout school you a c average student you're gonna get a Elementary school diploma, middle school diploma, high school diploma, an AA degree, and a bachelor's degree. That's as far as it's going to go. But yeah, you made it. You succeed. You passed. Next. Versus you don't have that 70% down pack. Oh, you're going to be a hopeless romantic. So, fellas, if a woman no longer gets wet for you, excited for you, and there's no sex chemistry there no more, I'm going to say this, fellas. She no longer finds you sexually attractive. Move on. Ladies, he used to get rock hard, excited, waiting for you. He don't get excited for you no more. It's like his penis went, it's dead. It don't even get hard no more. It don't even get up no more. It just act like it got erectile dysfunction. Oh, man. You trying to touch him, do this, do that. You get him up. He doesn't bust a nut, nothing. You doing all you can. Ain't, ain't, ain't nothing going down. He doesn't find you sexually attractive. When a person no longer finds you sexually attractive, either y'all gonna fix the issue or y'all need to go y'all separate ways and find somebody else who you can be in a relationship with who does find you sexually attractive. And you find them sexually attractive too. Because if the sex goes from amazing to I don't want sex no more. The heck, something went wrong down the line. You stop being intimate. You stop doing things to arouse your sexual partner. Y'all stop doing certain things because of whatever reason. Is it the same old boring routine you keep doing? And eventually somebody going to be tired of it? Is it always planned? Planned sex ain't the best. Is really best when it just happens. And then y'all get into it. 
somewhere down the line went wrong. Maybe it's a hormone issue, but most cases that ain't it. Fellas, ladies, if your significant other does not find you sexually attracted, they're not getting aroused by you, excited by you no more. Either you fix the problem, get to the root cause of it, or if all else fails, relationship is over. That's just what it is. You think I'm telling the truth? You think I'm talking outside of my neck? Comment down below. Tell me your thoughts. I'll be more happy to read your comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe to this video. And tell me what you think.